Alright, this video is for anyone interested in swapping a wideband ECU into a 2000 A4 ATW. So basically, moving over an AWM ECU into a ATW engine. You can see I already swapped on a VVT solenoid, VVT tensioner. Um, I have a wideband O2 sensor ready to swap in. I have completely removed the engine harness from the ATW the narrow band. It does require one wire cut unless you want to fuck around with the starter, which I didn't, so I cut one of the starter wires. Um, it is all the way in the back of the engine back there, but I'm gonna go ahead and compare the differences between the two harnesses since I couldn't really find any valuable information online about it. So this one right here is my ATW harness, narrow band. Um, so I already clipped the secondary air injection. That's this long wire over by that map sensor connector. Um, but there are differences between the two harnesses and I'll get into that. So this right here, um, let's say about two feet away from the connectors in the ECU box is the wire that I cut. It is, I believe the power for the starter um, and also there is another difference between the ECU on the starter or between the harnesses on the starter and that is this blue connector. This blue connector has been moved farther either up or down the harness. Let's go ahead and see. I found which connector it was. It's moved over here which looks like it's more It's near the connections underneath the intake manifold now. So I already checked. It has a different connector. I'm just going to chop it off and solder on the connector from the old ATW harness. Um, the red power cable that I cut on the AEWM harness has a connector instead of, or a connector that's able to be disconnected rather than just a straight wire that goes directly to the starter. So that's more convenient for the AWM owners. Unfortunately, I need to cut this connector off and solder it to the existing wire. So far, that is, those are the only two differences I've noticed. Um, obviously, it has the wideband O2 sensor connection, which is the main reason for this swap. Um, I have the VVT tensioner, so I mean, that's another reason, but it's not really worth swapping a whole engine harness over. Uh, getting the old harness out was a lot easier than I expected. Those are the two main difficulties I've run into, and if I run into any more, I will definitely document them. Okay, so back to the engine harness swap. So it appears that Audi switched from the older style of plugs here to a newer style, which is already found in various places on a 2000 versus a 2001 but it appears that they have switched specifically to these type of connectors from this type of connectors with the push down release. Luckily, for a lot of the connectors on the car, well, for every single one that I've done so far, Audi has graciously used the same color wires, so soldering is not really an issue, and figuring out what connectors do what is not an issue. So there were various wires that needed soldering. Um, Two knock sensors and the speed sensor need to, well I changed out the knock sensor so I didn't need to solder those. I switched them out to the newer style. Um, the engine speed sensor I did solder um, and also the starter wires but those are given because I was talking about them in the previous video. But this is the last one and then I should be good to go. I've already started the car, it runs great. Um, I haven't driven it yet, but so far it idles perfectly. You can definitely hear the difference in idle with the variable valve timing. Makes a little bit different of a sound. The tune I'm using right now is the stock tune on this ECU since I haven't had a chance to mess with it. I wasn't even sure that the engine was going to start up on the first try, but I guess I did get a good harness. Um, up next is going to be tuning. I'm actually running a 
KO4 Turbo, but it's Chinese, but I rebuilt it. I have another video up on YouTube about that. Um, yeah, I'll make one more video of the startup and then that's it. All right. Paul ECU, a 18M. Lucas, if you watch this, don't look at that whenever we meet up. 